guys, welcome back to another video, and today's episode we'll be playing some more Red Dead Redemption, and in this episode we'll be doing the Mexico missions, and um, if you just see over there, there's like a broken bridge, and that's where the border splits up. So what we need to do is we need to just go over to the Mexico missions, so yeah, and um, I'm just gonna get on my horse. Uh, and I died. Yeah, that was that was such a fail. Okay, guys, so we're gonna try that again, and um, I'm just gonna get on my horse right here. So yeah, and yeah. So I'll see you guys. Um, hold on. Let me just set a waypoint. There we go, and I'll see you guys when we make it up to the mission. What do you want, gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? Oh, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldiers armed to the teeth? Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's come meet, drink. And then we'll talk. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, Aquila. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man, perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. It is tough. The people are... Confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> yeah. It breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American. An outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! Are you going to ride with me? Okay, so we just need to get onto this um, carriage right here and follow DeSanta. 
And we're gonna find this outlaw, I think. I'm not too sure. So we're just gonna go get on the horse right now. We must be quick. It's a long ride to Chuparosa. You did not expect such a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like tyrant and you know, oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught, but do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering a crisis of reputation. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk badly of other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe you should look in the mirror. You're the one talking about this. And I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, Senor Marston. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man, or to be until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. Who are these alus you hunt? This Billy, the cowboy, and his Mexican friend. Bill Williamson's a fella I used to know, and Javier Escuela? Well, I knew him too. What do you mean? You know this man? We was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. It cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure gonna do something about the future. Whatever helps you to sleep at night, amigo. My country is full of American criminals, mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for men to lose himself. Whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. There must be a high price on their heads. The highest price? Can I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's... it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. And we do not tolerate people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, we help you. No one hides from Coronel Allende for long. It's rebellion. It is a disease. It is killing this country. Don't the people have the right to stand up for themselves? The right? The right? Don't you throw silly ideas at me. What do you know about the rights of the Mexican people? Very little. I'm just saying there must be something behind this rebellion. I'll tell you what's behind there, Senor Marston. Lies. Insidious lies. The peasants are stupid, and like cows, they can be herded. It only takes a few men to move many. Maybe they've just had enough of being called stupid. You're talking about things you don't understand. You ask me something, I'm gonna give you an answer. Are you a revolutionary? Is that why you're here? I was once, I suppose. In a twisted kind of way. I thought I could change something if I fought hard enough. Change? What? I don't know. Maybe that was the problem. Revolution is always selfish. It is nothing but greed and ego. Individuals putting their own needs above those of others. It is people fighting for change when they have no idea what change is. If you're a poor man who's been beat down all his life, any change is gonna seem good. What? You think that overthrowing the government is going to make a poor man rich? If you're not helping them, it's only natural they're gonna look for someone else who will. For a tired old revolutionary, you are very naive. What do you want us to do? Walk around giving out money to every poor person in Mexico? <laughs> what a terrible idea. First, they need to look at why they're poor. Then they need to go out and do some work rather than sitting on their culos talking about freedom. Who's this man we're looking for? Leader of the rebels? Abraham Reyes? He's a traitor. 
A liar. A coward and a sinner. A hero who has done nothing. I have far more respect for the shit I looked this morning than I ever will for that pathetic war. That's a nice image. He is from a rich family. A man born in a golden cradle who pretends to fight for the poor. He's taking advantage of the ignorant and the weak-minded. He must be telling the people something they want to hear. Of course he is. All that bastard does is stand in a balcony giving speeches. It is easy to make promises you can never keep. It takes more than a few promises to build an army. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train. But there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. Give them some bait they can refuse. Okay guys, uh, we just need to mount, mount a horse right here. So we're just going to get on one. We're just going to get on this runway right here. And I think we're meant to protect the supply train. So we need to follow this enter to the train of course. So I think the train engine has health and if it gets shot at by bandits then we need to we just need to try and stop it from getting shot by the way. So what we need to do is we just need to follow these guys right here to the top of the train. So try not to get too far away from the train guys. Okay, so we need to fight these guys up ahead, and they're already coming, so we need to grab our rifle out and do that right now. So there's one right here. Hold on. There we are. Okay, so there's one right here, too. There we are. Now, so we need to just go over there and stop them lot. Grab the Springfield rifle. There we are. There we are. And there's another one um, up here, another two. So we need to go get them as well. Oh, it missed him. There we are. And there's one here yeah, as well. So I think coming up now is the tunnel that we have to go through, not too sure. Some over here. Alright, there's one over here we need to get, and there we are, we just got him. So we just keep following the train. There's one here, let's go, the, go get it. There we are. Let's just keep following the train. So so far the train engine hasn't been damaged, but along the way it might get damaged, so we still need to protect it. There's some through here. Oh, we might damage, damage to the train. There we are. Alright, it's one here. There we are. So I think there's um, no more actually, so we just need to keep following the train. And uh, along the way is going to be um, a town where we just stop at.
there we go. So, um, one more. There we are. So you need to keep following the train. And there we are. There we go. Oh, there's lots of horses in the way. And we've nearly made it over to the town, so we're just going to wait and wait for the train to go through. There we are, so all we need to do is just go through the town and wait for the train. Let's <coughs> go off our horse right here and then just go over to the um, X over here, the yellow X. So yeah, I'll just walk over there. Todo bien, compadre? You did a good thing for Mexico today. Colonel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start that train before it crosses the bridge. Yeah. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasó a usted? Ay, oh, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Okay, so we need to mount a horse. I'll just go choose my horse. Now we need to go over to the train real quick because some, there's some enemies. Alright, so there's one behind here. That was a weird falling animation. But who cares? Now we need to just need, need to kill the rest of them. There we are. There's one along here. And another one. There we are. So we need to, I think we need to get in front of the train and kill the last one. And then we're just going to try and stop it from making it to the bridge jump onto the train. So I'm gonna jump onto the train right now. Okay guys, so that's all we have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye.